हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू टू द एंड वेलकम आवर डेली करंट अफेयर्स एमसीक्यूज व्हिच इज बीइंग प्रेजेंटेड बाय मी माय नेम इज खुशबू सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड विद टुडेज क्लास बट बिफोर दैट अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन एंड द इंफॉर्मेशन इज रिलेटेड टू द कोर्सेज ऑफ द थास्तु सो द थास्तु एज ऑफ नाउ इज रनिंग दीज मेनी कोर्सेज एम एस एल वी एन सी ऑप्शनल इज गोइंग टू स्टार्ट एंड पी एस एल वी सून इट विल बी लॉन्च very soon it will be launched in order to gather information related to any of these courses you can visit tathastuics.com or you can call on any of these numbers or you can even visit our office as well okay now let's get started with the questions the very first question is related to stem uh, this uh, stem cell therapy stem cell therapy the very first statement is stem cell therapy belongs to the field of regenerative medicine aiming to restore impaired cells within the body second is the application of stem cell therapies extends to addressing conditions such as autoimmune diseases inflammatory disorders and autism spectrum disorder so how many of these are incorrect you are supposed to choose the incorrect so please always keep this in your mind that whether they are asking a uh, correct or incorrect options okay so if the answer is option b the second statement is incorrect over here why it was a news because recently the court high court uh, actually allows the stem cell therapy for two art, uh, autistic kids now what is this treatment and all all these thing has been explained over there in the indian express health part so delhi high court recently it actually took this particular decision which i read as of now only now regenerative medicine purpose what is the purpose over here under this stem cell therapy uh this this particular therapy is a branch of regenerative medicine now what is the goal over here the goal is to repair the damaged cell okay so regenerative from the name itself you can understand it is actually saying regenerative it means it is generating something which was earlier there right so it is repairing the damaged cell cells within the body it achieves this by reducing the inflammation and modulating the immune system okay now let's move on to the next question great scheme which was recently in news is related to textiles tourism supercomputers defense great scheme so great scheme is related to the research textiles basically okay so grant for research and entrepreneurship across as aspiring innovators in technical textiles okay in technical textiles so it is related to the textiles only right it is related to the textiles government to provide grant in aid to up to 50 lakh rupees to startups in the technical textiles over here what is the main objective so main objective is to provide essential support for nurturing the technical textile startup landscape in india in order to nurture the technical textiles the startup landscape in india and this pertains particularly to the specialized sub categories and the which are those specialized sub categories here the examples are the environment biodegradable and environmentally friendly sustainable textiles then comes the high performance and distinctive fibers and comes the intelligent textiles as well over here okay now let's move on to the third question which is related to the kokborok language which i had explained earlier so this consider the following statements related to this language only so this the first statement is this is the native tongue of individuals hailing from manipur second is unicef has categorized this language at as at risk so which of these are correct over here so if you have referred if you had actually referred my dna the last one then you could have answered this very easily answer is none of these are actually correct kokborok language related to the tripura okay so we i had explained this one the language in question is the primary spoken 
language this is the primary spoken language of tripura why it is a news it is a news because of the script because there are a many there are a lot many people who are they, see language is something with which you are communi communicating you are speaking something and through that you are communicating with someone right so that is a language and the script is something we uh, there are certain rules over there that ko will be written like this ko is supposed to be written like this in Panj in gurmukhi it is different in devanagari it is different right in bengali it is different right so over here we they here it is being decided that to which script we are supposed to use in order to write this particular language so there is dispute between two there is controversy between the two scripts one is the bengali and bengali script and the another one is the roman script which is also known as the latin script so which of these are supposed to be chosen as a script for in order to write the cockborok language so there are lot many people who are favoring bengali but there are people who are supporting roman script as well so this is the reason why it is in news so cockborok is a member of tibeto burman language family and it shares a kind of very close uh, linguistic relationship with the other languages also like that of bodo garo dimasa and others and it is not at risk but it is vulnerable okay it is vulnerable under the list of unesco language list okay now let's move on to the next question it is related to kakapo consider the following statements related to kakapo that is the owl parrot the very first statement is this parrot is a significant night time and incapable of flight second is it can be located exclusively within the boundaries of the indian state of arunachal pradesh third is in the iucn red list it has been categorized as being in the uh, state of critical endangerment so you have to find out that which of these are correct so how many statements are correct over here answer is option b only two statements are correct so this is the owl parrot here you can see this is a kind of combination of the owl and parrot so here you can see owl and here the kind of green color that actually gives a kind of you know feel that as if it is a parrot so how gene mapping almost all rem uh, re remaining kakapo will help new zealand's rare night parrot survive let's see so this is a very special kind of avian species and it is a very large size nocturnal habits and inability to fly so this actually does not fly nocturnal it means it actually you know it sleeps in day and uh, and wake up over there in the night time okay now the distinctive appearance over here it possesses a distinctive visage resembling that of an owl uh, characterized by a pale facial appearance the parrot's plumage showcases a combination a combination of mossy green hues mossy green hues over here and it intermingles with the yellow and black on its upper body yellowish kind of thing you can see and the blackish also so this is what the word is the second statement is incorrect because the, the uh, no, this particular avian creature are exceptional uh, with the rare habitat limited to the geographical region of that nearby new zealand only okay it can survive over there only and it comes under the critically endangered category of the iucn west the last question of the day the very first statement is mahendra giri Mahendra Giri is the seventh vessel in the project of 17A series of stealth frigates. Second is the project 17A frigates represent the subsequent generation of frigates following the project 17, which is also known as the Shivalik class frigates, which is also known as Shivalik uh, class frigates. You have to find out which of these are correct over here last dna explained it really very well so you are supposed to watch that so answer is option c both the statements are correct related to the mahendra giri so the, it has been named after a giri that is the mountain name only and that is the mahendra giri mountain which is there in odisha and it is the seventh stealth uh, frigate within the project 17a category okay fine 
So I hope that you people enjoyed. This is it related to our daily current affairs MCQs. See you in the next video. Bye-bye. Take care and have a great time. Good night.